Alright guys, you saw the title for this video. In this video, I'm going to attempt to be like doing uh, an Age of History 1 World Conquest as Germany, and hopefully I won't fail. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and sub, that would really help the channel a ton. And without further ado, let's kind of, well, kind of just get into this. And basically guys, if you're wondering, this isn't a fan suggestion or anything, but I realized that you guys really seem to like my video of me playing Age of History 1, probably because when I searched on YouTube, there's only like two videos that I could find of it. So yeah, I said to myself, okay, why not? I may as well just make another video on this variant of the game. And now, um, yeah, we're going to try a world conquest. And if you're wondering, guys, the weird thing about this variant compared to like Age of History, Age of History 2 is that many nations are erased from the game and some nations even have their own flag. And if you're wondering, this was made in 2014 and I don't really think uh, you're supposed to play this version of the game. But honestly, I'm bored, so yeah, why not? And basically, guys, something that's kind of problematic for this variant is that because we're only two provinces as Germany, if anyone invades us and like invades both of our, these provinces, yeah, it's over for us instantly. Which, you know, is a little problematic, but honestly, um, I guess we'll try to ignore that. Anyways, let's keep spamming for money. And I guess our first target will probably be, um, maybe the Czech Republic. Okay, let's declare war, and now let's send our army. Oh crap. How did this happen? Yay. Well, at least we got rid of them. Anyways, now let's assimilate. Let's send this army over here. Now let's recruit. Again, we're going broke. Austria, we're going to declare war on you. And yeah, guys, I know that because, like, we don't control that much territory, uh, the map looks very small. And yeah, um, that is a little bit of a problem in this variant of the game. But there's not really much we can do about it. And honestly, uh, China's getting invaded. Maybe we can join in. Actually, fine. If we can make a colony, that would be really good. So, let's just spam. Okay, wait. I don't think China has totally recovered yet. So, let's try. I mean, if we can make a colony this early, that would be amazing. Oh, crap. Okay, realistically, we should win. And there they go. Uh, can we take all of them? Oh, we can't. Okay. Well then, let's just do this trick where we just make them a puppet and then we instantly uh, demand their annexation. Wow. Anyways, let's disband. And now, let's assimilate. And now we've gone broke. Amazing. Uh, okay, come on. Oh. Okay. Now let's spam. By the way, guys, we can actually spam really fast because, like, this version of the game doesn't really have much for my phone to load. So, yeah, I can kind of spam really quickly. And I guess our next target will probably be, uh, maybe Bangladesh. Okay, guys, considering that I am playing it as Germany, you would probably expect that our next target will be in Europe, but this time, no. And we'll wait for them to attack first. Oh, they actually didn't. Okay, we're in a situation. Because usually, guys, uh, a trick that you can do is that you can just wait for them to send their army first, and you'll take, like, less losses because uh, you're going to be, like, holding the defensive side. I tried to do that trick, but they didn't attack. So the AI probably knew I was planning... Seriously? Okay. I mean, sure. We'll literally just invade you. Okay. And there goes Italy. Oh, they also took Greece. I wonder where I've seen that. Oh, no, wait, never mind. Bulgaria did. Okay. And there they go. To be honest, this run is going amazing so far. So I really don't want to lose, like, right now. Anyways, Hungary, you are next. Okay, there they go. Now, let's prepare for war with Slovakia. And I just realized, we've gone broke. Literally. 
Come on. Are you serious? Okay. What? And there they go, okay. By the way guys, the reason we don't want to take too much land in Asia is because, uh, yeah, eventually a coalition could get formed against us. Trust me, I know it doesn't sound that likely, but it really can happen. And apparently Mexico and the United States are at war. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Well then, let's finally invade Slovakia. What? Only 105 soldiers left. Wow, we were really close to losing. Okay, spam. And I guess next we can invade probably Switzerland. Let's just wait for them to attack first. Okay. And they signed their fate. Let's send our army to Belgium. Let's declare war. I forgot that they can attack that province. Okay, this is really annoying. Finally. I think so far in this video we've lost our capital two times. What? Seriously? Dude. Um... Can we get an alliance? Oh yeah, we're at war. With Canada. Honestly, I don't think Canada is going to try to invade us, so let's continue uh, making our empire in Europe. Wow, Canada actually tried to declare war on us. Wait, seriously? Okay. And this is why holding onto territory in Asia is a little problematic. Well, for us, but still. I mean, dude. Why is everyone declaring war on us? Uh, Thailand? And Russia. Okay. Wait. And, uh, yeah, it's over for Kazakhstan. Honestly, you know what, let's just get rid of Central Asia. This is, like, way too much of a threat. And uh, let's just invade Bulgaria. And there they go. Okay. Will they finally accept? Finally. By the way guys, remember, this is literally just a speedrun. Anyways, Kyrgyzstan, uh, yeah, it's over for you. We lost. We're going to pretend that didn't happen. Okay. Let's just be grateful that they did not try to invade us because we did not defend the bordering provinces. So it's very possible that, uh, yeah, they could have just gone everywhere. Anyways, Nepal, uh, let's get rid of you really quickly. Uh, 
And there they go. Now, let's invade Romania. Let's finally invade Poland. By the way, guys, yes, I know it's hard to see, like, the troop numbers because of how small the map is. But, yeah, that's kind of just how the map was designed. Okay. Now let's invade Lithuania. Now let's save. Oh wow, we already control 12% of the world. Okay. Anyways, let's invade Uzbekistan. And realistically, I think we're going to uh, invade the nations like Russia by an ultimatum, because I don't think we're actually going to be able to like win a normal war against them. Because honestly, it would just take way too long. Wait, what? Okay. Anyways, let's invade, uh, maybe Turkey? Wow, they actually won. Wait. There they go. Wow, we actually lost. Okay, uh, this is actually a problem. Okay. And there they go. Now, let's finally take over all of Central Asia, and then we'll probably just go for Pakistan. Wow, we lost. Okay, I mean, I don't know how, but I guess I won't question it. Please, no. Okay, we have a problem. Let's invade Belarus. To be honest, I've just realized in this video I'm really not fucking that much. So uh, now I'm going to uh, talk for a very long time because I need to make this interesting. Oh. Honestly, I can probably win a war against Norway. I 
Ireland, uh, no. Because trust me guys, uh, when I played this map once, like off camera, uh, Ireland literally just summoned like uh, 30,000 troops, literally out of nowhere. So uh, yeah, don't underestimate them, it's not worth it. Anyways, okay, come on. Thankfully, we've become so powerful that we can kind of just get a peace deal whenever we want. Well, not exactly like all the ways, but still close enough. Wait, where are they? Oh. Okay. What? No. Let's send our army to the ocean. And now, let's get ready to invade Denmark. And don't worry guys, I am aware that they do control a part of Greenland. Uh, to be honest, I don't know how they lost this. But, okay. Oh wow, we have a lot of technology points. Okay, finally. And there they go. Okay. Let's invade Iceland the next. Let's invade, uh, maybe Estonia, although they have 16,000 troops, okay, uh, that could be a problem. Wow. We would have lost, like, triple the amount of troops if we started the attack. Anyways, let's invade Finland. Wait, what the? Oh yeah, this is the like original Age of History 2. It was still quite broken. for a war with the Netherlands. Okay. There they go. What the heck. Okay. We sent the troops to the wrong area because this map is just so small. Are we at war with Libya? Okay. Now let's invade uh, maybe Azerbaijan. Oh. Okay. If they don't stop the attack on the first try, uh, just invade them immediately because it means that the AI knows what you're doing and it's just preparing to fight you normally. Okay, let's invade Ukraine. Actually, no, they are at war with Iran, so let's invade Iran first.
Okay, we should probably get some troops to defend uh, this front. And now, let's declare war. Okay, very good thing we did not stop the attack. Pakistan. Oh, we're at war with Somalia. Never mind. And there goes Pakistan. There's no way they're going to be able to defend against maybe like uh, 50,000? Well, no. Um, about 60,000 troops. Now let's invade India. Okay. And now let's do all that and this and please no. Okay. Cool. What the okay. Uh, yeah, it's over for them. Honestly, I think we uh, prepared way too many troops for this specific province. Okay. What? By the way, uh, let's get a vassal really quickly. Specifically, Russia. Okay. Let's just wait if we can annex them. Let's be grateful that they accepted. Dude. No. And there they go. Okay, easy. Now, we need to assimilate. This is going to be very annoying, I know. But trust me. If we don't do this, uh, it's going to be very problematic.
Okay, and there they go. By the way, uh, what the heck happened to Cambodia? Anyways, now let's invade North Korea. Trying to stop North Korea, uh, I don't think that would have worked. Anyways, uh, let's invade Ukraine. Oh, okay. And never mind, we actually won. Anyways, uh, let's invade Sweden. Okay, come on. This map is really hard to use because of how small it is. Like, that's kind of the one problem with this map. But I guess that's what makes it special. Launch the attack. Come on. Like right there. And never mind, we actually won. Let's send our army to go for Ireland. And I'm actually going to send 50,000 troops because trust me guys, uh, yeah, like usually for some reason they have like uh, 30,000 troops. I'm not joking. Actually, let's try and make uh, Brazil a vassal. Actually, no, let's first invade Egypt. I highly doubt they'll accept. Yeah, they didn't accept. I'm not even surprised. Okay, there they go. Now let's send our army right back. Oh, we're at war with Morocco. Okay, uh, let's just invade them. Okay, realistically we won't lose. Okay, we won. And now guys, please give me a moment to deal with something really quickly. Okay guys, I'm back. And apparently, we control 45% of the world. Wow, okay. Well, uh, we're basically unstoppable. Anyways, let's just invade Saudi Arabia. Wow. 
wait. Okay, I really don't want to accidentally lose this war, so... Wait, what? Okay. Oh. What? Dude. We're actually losing. By the way, I don't think uh, in the real world Saudi Arabia and Egypt actually have a border. So, uh, that's the map's mistake. Are you serious? Okay, you know what? This is enough. Oh yeah, uh, let's invade Mongolia really quickly. Okay, wait. And there they go, finally. Oh, uh, that took way too long. By the way, I just realized that all the provinces don't actually have names. Okay, weird. Come on. I just realized it. there's like almost no population in the provinces that we took in Africa. Wait, where's Libya? Oh, there. Uh, oh, they accepted. What? Wh why? Uh, I don't even know what the heck just happened, but okay, I won't question it. And now let's also invade Oman. Okay. And now we control the entire Middle East. I win by ultimatums. And by the way, guys, no, not like completely by ultimatums, but like mostly by ultimatums. Oh. 
Okay. Um, let's just annex the United States. And there they go. Uh, let's send our army to go and uh, demand Somalia. Oh, they refused. Wait, no way they'll refuse after this. Still. Okay, well then, uh, it's their fault, not mine. Oh, they're refused. Okay, weird. Still? Really? Okay, I mean... There's no way now, right? Bro. They are uh, really just doesn't want to be our puppet, okay. Like, uh, if the AI refuses this much, it can either mean that the AI just, like, uh, doesn't understand, or, uh, the AI has a massive army, and never mind, they finally accepted the vote. No, that's Zimbabwe. Okay. Finally. Wait, Cameroon? Okay, there you go. Are you serious? 
Just give me back my land. Okay, now let's wait. They refused. Dude, why? This is ridiculous, okay, uh, you know what? And I mean, like, now, uh... Come on. Okay, there's no way they refuse this time, right? Finally. Okay. Come on, we are so close. Okay, you know what? This video is taking way too long. It literally said they only had 950 troops. Bro, that makes no sense. There's no way they're going to win this battle, right? Dude, this makes no sense. What the heck? Okay, uh, you know what? Um, what can we even do? There's no way we're actually going to lose this, right? Okay, at least one battle we don't lose. Wait. right?
can we invade next? Guys, uh, I have an idea. Give me a moment to really get rid of everyone else, and then we're going to deal with uh, Brazil. Alright, guys, I'm back. I got rid of a lot of nations, and uh, yeah. Um, now I'm just going to invade Australia, and then I'll probably come back to when like Brazil is our only target. Probably. Okay. Why I totally failed. Um, let's just get this ready. Okay, cool. What? Okay. And there they go. And now, guys. Please give me a moment, yeah, until I kind of just, like, uh, I'm just gonna get rid of these guys really quickly. Wait. Seriously? Okay, well, uh, their fault, not mine. Okay, let's build up an army in the meantime, because I really don't want to potentially, uh, lose. No, not lose, but, like, you know, there is a chance that they won't accept the ultimatum. So I want to make sure that it's, like, guaranteed that they accept it. Still, they refused, really? Bro, please. Come on, like, really, I don't want this to, to like, uh, take too long. And I mean, like, if they refuse, uh, and we have this many troops, uh, like, an invasion would probably end really bad. Okay, come on. There's no way they refuse now. Finally. Uh, how many turns? Okay, there they go. We are literally so close. Japan, let's vassalize you. And then we can finally uh, vassalize Brazil and we'll probably just win. And now, guys, finally, after 50 minutes, and I cut out like five minutes, it's over. We win. Oh, never mind. Well, I mean, we're about to win anyways. Still? Really? Okay, uh, this could be a problem, because listen guys, okay, uh, trying to invade them uh, will just be ending the run, like, actually, we can see all their troops, it's not worth an invasion, like, really? Even if we need to recruit a million troops, uh, that's far better than trying to invade them. Come on. Still? Really? Bro, come on. Please. 
finally, we win. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and sub as that would really help the, cha uh, really help the channel a ton. Don't comment down below which nation or challenge you may want to see me next. And comment down below if you want to see more Age of History 1 videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Uh, let's just annex Brazil. They refused. Okay. Okay, uh, give me a moment. Okay, guys, I'm back. There's no way they refuse this. How could the AI possibly refuse this? Okay. You know what? Um, I think this is good enough. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.